Oh, hello again everybody. This is uh, just a very short update um, on the corner that I've done over there. This is behind me as you can see the waterfall corner and the corner over there is the old, this is mine. Uh, but I haven't ha managed to get very far because we've been having the house rewired and every room, every room has got chases down the wall. So we're going to have to get the plasterer in now uh, and then when the plaster has been um, the, all the walls are going to be painted as well. So it's not cheap, it wasn't cheap and <laughs> it's going to get more expensive still. But it had to be done. But this is just a short update on what I've been doing in, that, in the uh, mining corner. I uh, hope, uh, hope you enjoy it. In uh, South Wales, UK, there is a, a, a mining museum and uh, it's called Big Pit. There's the pit head gear and you can see it's, um, it's a sort of rusty red. So I'm going to try and replicate that on, on this. I'm going to use uh, an acrylic red. Um, and then I've got some uh, weathering powder, so I shall use that um, to get the right effect, I hope. <laughs> uh, for me this is all experimental. Uh, I put a, just a touch of black in there as well. But now we'll take a brush and mix it up a little bit. I'll see how we get on with that. Get a bit of water. Oh, there we have it. It's uh, it's come out quite a nice colour actually, mixing the black with the red. And uh, but I will put some weathering coat uh, dust on it. So uh, now we get on with the windy house, see what we can do with that. Uh, I'm not going to try to replicate the windy house at Big Pit. I'm going to use this building which as mentioned before was the top station from my cable car off the old layout. Uh, but with a little bit of modification uh, I can make it into the windy house. And the first thing I'm going to do is I've got this stream which I've uh, uh, coated in a dark coloured paint to make it uh, as dark as possible and that will go through the roof there onto the machinery in the winding house so that's about the same angle the right angle it will be um, so I can cover up to there and just leave that little slot so we'll have to get on with that. So I need first of all to cut this side off to match uh, this side and we'll do that. I'm going to make some ground cover now and after a, a few days of dry weather, not that the leaves are nice and dry, last night it rained so I've dried these in the oven and now press it down and see if this will work. <coughs> oh, I think that's worked out quite nicely. See? There's enough there to do quite a large area. But I've got one more batch to do and then uh, we're going to get it on the layout. A bit of a cough. I went through all the normal stages of scenery building that I use, like cardboard, plaster of Paris, tumble dryer fluff, and then uh, brown paint to cover the ground. And then I ended up with this. And I'm quite pleased with it. And in the far distance, on the far wall there, you can see a little white area 
Well, that's the photograph that I took of the Bl uh, Blanevin Ironworks. And I printed out the photograph and cut it out. And it uh, hide the edge of the photograph with trees. I was quite pleased. All the foliage, you see, is made from the microfiber, which I uh, dipped into the brown wood treatment and then sprayed it with hairspray and scattered it with all sorts of scatter products. And uh, I think it's built quite well. And the trees are all from my old layout. That's it for this episode. In the next episode I'm going to work along the back wall from the mine and along into this corner here where I'm going to have a hill here and on top of the hill I'm hoping to be able to build the ruins of a castle. Well that's my plan and I hope you'll come back and uh, see my attempts at doing that. In the meantime, thanks very much for watching and goodbye for now.